And an independent investigation so shows former Pembroke Park Mayor Jeffrey Jacobs created a pattern of bullying in a hostile workplace. And Local 10 News has reported on Jacobs' conduct in the past. Investigator Jeff Weinseer now has obtained the report and, said, and joins us now from our newsroom with more. We will post this entire 17 page report on our website and it's something you need to read. 13 former and current employees were interviewed for this investigation and every one of them said Commissioner Jeffrey Jacobs behavior created a hostile work environment. I will not be silenced. I will not stop. He is the former mayor and currently a Pembroke Park Town Commissioner. Back in March after clashes with fellow commissioners and former and current employees, the town decided to investigate Jeffrey Jacobs' behavior. Here's the deal. Free speech. Free speech. This independent investigation conducted by attorney Tanya Haddad. The report says evidence provided shows examples of bullying by Jacobs, including threatening, humiliating, intimidating behavior, verbal abuse. Jacobs singled out people. The report highlights what we have reported in the past, that Jacobs sent this homophobic and misogynistic video to former town attorney Melissa Anderson, who is openly gay. A copy of the video was also sent to the town manager with Jacobs writing, quote, this is your attorney. When Jacobs was encouraged to apologize, the report says he said he would when hell freezes over and told Anderson to stay the F away from him. The town clerk provided text messages where Jacobs referred to Anderson as a effing C word. Anderson did resign. The report calls text messages and emails by Jacobs to the town clerk as extensive and compelling. The report says Jacobs refers to two male commissioners as two idiots, incompetent, and overpaid, non-working a-holes. The truth hurts sometimes. The truth really does, because you're speaking about things you don't know anything about. The report says Jacobs disturbingly states Commissioner Hodgkins needs to die. The town clerk testified he once told her to get her head out of her rear end and yelled F you at her and called her a rat. HR director Babette Friedman testified Jacobs called her a Nazi, that employees would come into her office crying over Jacobs' behavior. And I don't think I've ever really called anybody um, a Nazi before. The report also says Jacobs called the town manager worthless, the current mayor, testified Jacobs referred to a female employee as a, quote, black bitch. You're not going to not going to silence me. Jacobs refused to be interviewed and participate in this investigation. His attorney, Michael Pizzi, told me Jacobs has never been found guilty by the inspector general or an independent body. He says this is a taxpayer funded investigation done by Jacobs political opponents. He's elected. Only the governor can remove him from office, and we're told that report will be sent to the governor's office for review. In the newsroom, Jeff Weinsier, Local 10 News. Okay, Jeff, thanks.